Hi guys, this is Mario Obo. Um, it's a very beautiful and bright day today. Just in nature, try to fill myself with, with some inspiration this morning. And um, I want to talk to our people today on a very, very important subject. I want to talk about sending money back to Africa, sending money back home. You see, our ancestors um, in the olden days, whenever they had anything important to share with their sons or their daughters, something that is of, of great importance to them, they bring them to the bush here and then they use a tree and say, by this tree, I share this wisdom. By this tree, this tree bears me witness that I've told you this. So by this tree, I share this wisdom to you. And by this tree, it bears me witness that I've shared this wisdom about sending money back to Africa. Now, I don't know how I'll be able to do this video today without pissing people off. I don't know how I'll be able to share this idea with you without upsetting people because including myself we all have family back home we all have that tie back home even those of us who have our nuclear family in this part of the world we still have one relative one cousin one auntie one in-law someone that is in africa that we need to send money to so if you're currently doing that if you're currently sending money to your family i want to use this medium to appreciate you and to thank you because i know for surety that it's not easy what you're actually doing. But you see, our people back home have a very, very bad mindset, a very bad attitude. And that is, they have a bank relationship with their relative, relatives in Western countries. They have, a bank, they have a bank relationship whereby that whenever they need money, whenever they need help, that's when they reach out to their family who lives in, 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 in Western countries. And it's not because they don't have any credit. It's not because they don't have um, the recharge to call their brothers. Is that it's a mindset because now we have WhatsApp. Now we have Facebook Messenger. So we, you can actually just send a text to your brother or sister and say, how are you doing over there? But some of us will never do that until we need money, until they need help. That is when they reach out to their own brothers and sisters to say, help me. Now, this is very, very bad because the truth is that Many of us do not know what your brother or sister in that country is suffering. You have a mindset that once you come here, once you come, once you live here, money is on the street. So whenever you need money, let me call my brother and sister now. That's, that's really, really bad. I was driving past in a Western Sydney one, um, a few weeks ago where I stopped by to see a friend of mine who I haven't seen in a while. This is about 7 a.m. in the morning. I was around the area and I called him and he invited me to his house. I stopped by. We had a few... We had a chat and I drove back home. It wasn't even up to one hour when I returned back to my house that this guy called me and told me that the wife came out of her, of her bedroom, said good morning to him, went to the kitchen to prepare breakfast, and then she collapsed. Now, thank God that this guy was home that day because he works 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Saturday. The wife works from 2 p.m., to 8 a.m. the next morning. So a husband and wife could be together in the same house and not even see each other for three to four, five days. Why is she working like this? Because she supports, they support each other here. Then they have to support the family back in Africa. And because of this, she has now been stressed to the point where she fell down. This is just one of the things. One of the things that are happening. The stress that we go through. Many people, many African people today who are in jail, who have been arrested because of drugs and who have put their hand into the wrong thing. They came from pressure from, from home. They came from pressure because of the pressure of sending money, because of this one needs help, because they're trying to play God for everybody. Many of our African people are in prison. Many of our African people have done crime just because they want to sustain family back home. Let me tell you something. If any of your brother or sister sends you $100, let me use $100 as, as an example. If any of your brother, your, your brother or sister sends you $100, now, depending on the country where he's in, where he's at, what that person has sent to you is five hours of hard labor without mercy. What that person sent to you is five hours of come here idiot or being stressed out, being racially intimidated, facing stress. He sent you five hours of his life. He sent it to you. And some of us don't even bother to even say thank you. 
We don't even bother to say thank you. We could just be walking on the street and all of a sudden, bang, we get a text message from home. Um, how are you? How are you doing today? How is your family? Please, bros, can you help me with 50,000 naira? I need to support my, my, my child for, for a school fees. Out of the blue. And because we get, that, we get that text message, our relatives, we are now compelled from here to send the money back home. And some of us don't even have the, 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 the mind to even say thank you to your brother or sister for the help that they rendered to you. Now, this is a very, very bad mindset that we have that we must change. You know why? Our ancestors told us that anywhere where there's no reciprocity, it is going to die. If you're all about take, 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 and you're not about give, that relationship is going to die. Whether it's father or mother, whether it's husband or wife, whether it's brother or sister, anywhere where only one person is the one giving, and the other one is not giving back something, time, emotions, feelings, anywhere there's no situation like that, that relationship is going to die. Now, I want to talk to our people who live in Western countries. Let me tell you a very short way to fail. If you want to live in a Western country for years and achieve nothing, it is sending money back home. If you want to be a man or woman who has lived in the country for more than 10, 15 years with no plot of land, with nothing to account for all of your labor, it is sending money back home. And if you fall today, if anything goes, goes wrong for you in that country, and for some reason you are deported or something bad happens to you, let me tell you, don't be deceived. Your family will not support you. They will tell you, oh, all those years when you were in America, all those years when you were in London, what did you achieve for yourself? The woman will be telling you that you are nothing to them. Meanwhile, all of your life, you used it to help your family. If you are doing this, I want you to be very wise with yourself. Because we know that we're not going to be, be young forever. This strength you have now, you're not going to have it forever. So you need to start putting something aside for yourself. Because if you don't help yourself, you cannot help another person. This is just the plain basic truth. How many of us in this country can boast that we have $50,000 in our account? How many of you can boast that every day you wear Gucci, that you wear Prada, you wear nice shoes? We wear shoes here $3.50, $5, $10. But your people back in Africa, they are wearing Gucci. They're wearing Timberland. They're wearing Nike Air. They're wearing good sneakers. They're wearing looking good. They live in better houses more than some of us that live here. They drive better cars more than some of us that live here. So my brother, don't deceive yourself. Do what you can. But make sure they are putting money away for yourself. Because our ancestors told us <laughs> that a day will come where a man will become old. And how will a man survive when he doesn't have the strength anymore to provide for himself? Be wise. My name is Mario Obo. God bless Africa. One love.